Good evening, residents. Um, glad you could attend. Today is Tuesday, September 15th. It's 7.05, and we're going to start the uh, regular meeting. We'll stand up and do the pledge of allegiance to the meeting, sir. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to have a moment of silence to honor, the to honor the military, firefighters, road workers, and sheriff's deputies as they serve our community here and abroad. Thank you. Tracy, can we have a roll call, please? Trustee McLaughlin. Present. Trustee McGuire. Present. Trustee Mann. Present. Okay, so first thing on our agenda this evening is review and approval of prior meeting minutes. And we have no minutes to approve, so we'll go to uh, old business. Uh, the only thing on old business is Brewer Blacktop, invoice and purchase order. Can we discuss this and, and I'll just go to say that the, the PO needs to be signed in the mailbox. I think that's all the discussion we need to have. Uh, I'd like to make one more comment um, in the fact that um, there was a resolution written originally to give that work to J and A, and it was resolution number uh, 20-035. That resolution does not state to give it to anybody else, just J and A, and they didn't take it, and then somehow or another. I'm not sure how, but it was given to Brewer Blacktop. I called them and they told me that Mr. Mann, excuse me, no, 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 Mr. McGuire and Mr. Wolf gave them uh, approval to proceed. And then we did a resolution after the work was done. So being that this was done in a, I don't know what you're gonna call it, you know, use a lot of different words to describe it, um, I will not be signing the PO with a check. So, any other comments? New business. I, I got to open another old business. Okay. Um, Mr. McGuire, min, meeting minutes. Have you talked to anybody about this is now September? We have no meeting minutes for a year. Have you talked to anybody about getting those done? You want them word for word? You stated that you're going to get a court transcript or somebody to type them word for word. Have you found anybody or done anything about that yet? I think some of that got sent back to the lady that we originally hired for that. Is that do you, not true? Do you know who did that? I just want to make sure we're getting them tight because we need them because some other time they're going to be the first thing they're going to write us up again with no mini minutes tight. I've got a question for you. You're posting the audio of our meetings, but there's nothing in there stating you're kind of misleading the public because there's nothing in there stating that that's the official record. That's no, it's not the official record, but I'm just putting it up there for people who don't call you guys and say, where's the meeting minutes? At least that you can say the audio is out there, we're working on the meeting minutes. Well, I think as far as the minutes are concerned, we can count on taking a hit for that, giving the law says that we've got to prepare the meetings promptly, so they definitely have not been prepared promptly. So. But you still got to have the meeting then. So we're just going to keep for going, we're going to keep for going, not getting them done? That's that's my question. So you guys can act on it or just let it keep up right? But if that's what you plan on doing, and you don't want me to bring it up again, I'm done with it here. Do we want to use the same person that we need? use before, after we find someone. 
that the court should address this? I think we need to fast track that process as quick as we can get caught up. Are you going to, if you do the same question, are you going to use the same process? Because I've already stated that I will be not spending all my days and hours sitting there proofreading the minutes. But we agreed to do it, you know, since the audio is out there, we had agreed in the previous in the year to do and had a system set up and we were just going to do the outline of the meeting. And in the meeting when I went here, you guys passed the resolution to do it word for word. So there again, I still don't believe that we need it word for word. Nobody else in the area does it word for word. And uh, that's Jim's Jim's idea. He wants it done. He's for different reasons. So, and that guys. So it was Jim's idea, but Mr. Mann did agree on it. Yep. So basically, it's the Board of Trustees idea, so you guys got to decide together what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. But again, my voice, my input is I am not spending all my working hours listening to a tape of proofreader because one of the lady we had and anybody, because they're not at this meeting, they don't know Mrs. McLaughlin's voice, they don't know. Mr. Rowley's voice, they just put names down. So it's not as accurate as you think. And then we got a lot of stuff in those minutes that says inaudible, because you can't understand. And then if the citizens don't stand up and say, so-and-so from such and such address, they don't know who they are. And so, I mean, now the lady knows better um, that She's been doing it, so she's getting to know some of those regular voices, but she doesn't know all of them. So I just want to put those inputs because I worked with her, and I know those facts. But it was not an easy task, and I have plenty to do with our going over minutes. And one more fact, we hired the administrative system when I came in here to do minutes. We did not hire them to do word-for-word -word minutes. I understand. That's too much a task for anybody to do. But that was not my task to type minutes. That was what the administrative assistant was to do. And they got out of her, they got out of her job description. So what I'm saying is that was not in for me to do. And I can't remember. It was the administrative assistant. So I just want you guys to understand that. And so I'm done with that. That was all I wanted to get. Any, uh, any new business? And we've got one item. Mr. McLaughlin, I sent you an email on Friday, September the 4th, regarding uh, basically uh, comments and allegations against our road staff. Are you prepared to bring forth? Anything written regarding their employee performance? How am I doing a written performance of employees? I'm not on the roof plan. What's the Well, you're on record in meetings. You and your wife are on record in social media complaining about roads, nitpicking their work. So, my question to you is do you have anything constructive? For these folks, or is this? I have no problem. I spoke with two of the road guys this past week out on the road. I have no problem with the road employees at all. I have a problem with management. Okay, so is it safe to go with you have no formal complaints against any road staff? That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. And Mr. Wolf? No. Mm -hmm. Nope. That's all I got for this. Good. Any other new business? You'll send that email again, please. Send that. You said you sent me an email on September fourth. Please send that to me again. Any other new business? It's the same date. That's the same date you wrote that letter, isn't it? On our on our township letterhead. 
That's it. Yeah, that's it. Tell me some more. Okay. And you got a new business? No, it's a cell. I don't know what it was written on Friday. Yeah. It's a cell on the cell. Okay. Uh, next is the fiscal office report. Tracy? Okay, so um, back on the table as usual, the Sun Summer. You guys got the um, appropriation fund summary and comparison of but it was appropriated in your folder financial report. Um, this is not the next begin the next month to get all the other reports after I do the bank reconciliation. Um, we discussed where we were as far as the budget, some issues with but we're, we're catching up, we're getting better. We just gotta keep pushing. It's going slow, it's a slow process, but hopefully we'll get there and then we'll have it, we'll have it together. So we're working. Just have to keep communication. Communication is the key. As I said before, I want to emphasize, I need you guys to call me if there's an issue. Sit down with me, tell me what you got, need me to get. We'll work it. I mean, if you, if you have somebody else tell me you have no access to UAM, that doesn't help me help you. Tell me yourself if that's the case. Um, if you're not getting enough information, tell me what you need. Tell me exactly what you need. I'll get it for you. Again, like I said, Mr. Mann had no problem getting what he needed from me. I'm using <coughs> Mr. Mann because this, we're a trustee. Why are you trustee? Um, he called me just recently, and he got what he needed. I mean, I think we saw this board black out there, but there's no more discussion on that. So that's all I have to say about financial report. Oh, oh, other than, please, get up there and sign those invoices and POs. I'd like to make a motion to accept the fiscal office report, pay, uh, pay the uh, vouchers, excuse me, pay the warrants, Invoices, appropriations. I second the motion. Uh, we have a motion on the floor to accept the fiscal officer report. Can I have a roll call, please? Tracy? Trustee McLaughlin? Yes. Trustee McGuire? No. Trustee Mann? Yes. Fiscal officer report is accepted. Thank you. Okay, next is resolutions. Um, one on the agenda. Do we have two to do though. Yeah, we do. Next is resolutions. One on the agenda. We have two to do though. The first one is. Um, Tracy, can you have a number, please? Um, so, you had a special meeting on 9, 10, 2020. There was only one resolution, correct? Yeah, well, that resolution never has been written, has it? I nice. bet you guys signed the, um, the paper that was on, oh. whatever. Because I got it in okay. the mail. Okay. And that yes. was resolution 2. Oh, that's 078, so this will be 20-079. Okay. Thank you. So we have a resolution on floor uh, 20-079. The, the Jefferson Township Board of Trustees accepted the resignation of four part-time firefighters backslash EMTs from the Jefferson Township Fire Department. Matthew Frederick, Brian Kramer, Logan Levesey, Jennifer Smiley. I second motion. Uh, I uh, nobody's made the motion yet. I, I was reading it. Okay. So somebody, you, you want to do it, then I'll second it. But you want to? I make a motion that we accept resolution number twenty dash zero seven nine. I'll second it. So we have a motion on the floor to accept resolution 20-079. Any questions? Are we going to get copies of that resolution? Which one? You don't have it? It should be in your packet. Not in there? Let's see. It should be after the fiscal officer report. Okay. Okay, uh, give a roll call please, Tracy. Trustee McLaughlin? Yes. Trustee McGuire? Yes. Trustee Mann? Yes. Motion carries.
Board? Yes. So we have another resolution to discuss. Resolution number 20-080. The, <clears throat> the Jefferson Township Board of Trustees do hereby raise the pay rates for the fire department to begin with the 2-27-2020 payroll period. We discussed this in the work session and um, any more discussion and questions on it. Are you looking at the amount? Yeah, um, I'd like to make a motion that we adopt resolution 20-080. Second. Okay, we have a motion on the floor to adopt resolution 20-080. Any questions? Okay, roll call please, Tracy. Trustee McLaughlin. Yes. Trustee McGuire. Yes. Trustee Mann. Yes. Motion carries. President, Mr. Wolf, we have another resolution that we just crafted today due to an issue that we became aware of late last night. Do you want to do that at this time or with the fire department report? No business. We'll do resolutions while we're doing President, we had uh, a grant years ago for the Zoll Auto Pulses. These are the devices that we place someone on to automatically do CPR for us. Uh, the batteries on these had a shelf life or an operating life of about three years. I was made aware of yesterday, late yesterday afternoon, evening, that our batteries are dying at a fast pace. Um, called the rep, finally got a hold of who they were. They called me back. Uh, we are on our just at the end of this month, our fourth year of three-year cycle batteries. So these things are going really quick. They are $800 per battery, and we had three per board, with one in the board, one in reserve in the case, and one on charge. So I called them, got a price on this. They told us that uh, these could be covered under the CARE Act as consumables to assist crews with doing CPR and not having to be down close to the pacemaker patient getting anything out of their mouth or their nose on the patients. Also the auto pulse life bands, which is what actually does the constricting of the chest, they are listed in the COVID-19 um, CARES Act as uh, usable, consumable items. So placed a uh, request, she gave me a quote, and again it's $10,476 that we want to uh, appropriate money aside and then uh, go ahead and order these. So that's what this resolution, and sorry for the late notice, but we just found out last night about this. I'd like to make a motion, like to make a motion to adopt resolution 20-081. Second motion. We have a res resolution on the floor to adopt, we have a motion on the floor to adopt resolution 20-081. Any questions? Now why are we appropriating 30,000 when we only need 10 well, it says on there that the rest will be set aside for future pur purchases. I believe Tracy and Miss Edwards said if this is not appropriated or allocated by October 15th, it goes back to the government. So again, uh, the discussion today between uh, Chief Lutz on uh, financing and Miss Edwards on a conference call here, they said to go with 30000 spend this, and then have the rest allocated so it doesn't go back to the government. It can be used for anything township wide. So let me let me just clear it up so you guys understand. I had a meeting today to get some clarity and we have I told you before we had fifty nine thousand the first draw and twenty nine and some change for both. Um, so it's about fifty nine sixty and thirty. About ninety thousand dollars approximately we have in this COVID care that and we have to appropriate it by October 15th, use it by December 31st. Now, there is a Senate bill that just passed in the Senate already, just waiting for the representative, and may move that another month. But right now, we only know October 15th. 
So with that being said, besides what he just done here in this resolution, we also need to decide what we want to do with the rest of that money soon to appropriate it. We don't have to use it, we have to appropriate it, have something to use it by. So I just wanted to clarify that. Okay, thank you. Any other questions, comments? Your roll call, please, Tracy. Trustee McLaughlin. Yes. Trustee McGuire. Yes. Trustee Mann. Yes. Motion carries. So next is departmental work reports. Um, the code enforcement stock here. We got reports for Amherst. Tony, Tony called in sick today. Uh, he's been sick for two days now, uh, going to seek uh, medical help. But he wanted me to make a couple highlights for you, trustees. Um, he'd been working on filing the final high weed mowing nuisance uh, assessment letters um, the rest of this week. He'll have them out by the end of the week. Uh, that's the last letters going out for 2020. Uh, that's, the notices total over 100 properties, and then the road department will be assisting to start mowing those 100 plus properties before or during leaf season. Um, Tony's report, uh, we wanted you to know, will be included at the next trustee meeting since he was not in today to, to prepare it. Um, and then last thing is, uh, last two things, he's working with the county sheriff um, a couple uh, uh, recovery uh, companies to prepare for the cleanup of the hole on 131 Lutheran Road that has been an eyesore for years. Um, and then the last thing is, uh, this uh, last Friday, Tony uh, delivered the beautification award. So anyone that wants to see the, 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 the house that was selected can go on the website. It's right on the front of the township website now when you open up the website and it shows the, 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 the home that was selected. And that's the notes that Tony gave me for tonight. Okay, Sheriff's Department. See you, buddy. Zoning Department. Yes, uh, uh, John has four uh, payments for permits, uh, uh, fiscal officer to give you. Uh, one is uh, in the amount of $100. Uh, they're all $100, there's four of them, but there's cash with one of them. So I'll, be good, I'll bring those up to you now. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. And John's report will be included in the first of the month as well. Road Department. You have your reports in front of you, uh, trustees. Um, I thank you for considering or thinking or talking about trying to get some accounts set up for charge accounts for our department because we do not want our workers using their own credit cards to buy anything, plus we shouldn't put them in that position. Um, so anybody that has any kind of road, road issues, they need to call and let us know. Can, and we'll can, address I, stop, them. can I stop you for a minute? Yeah. I just want to correct, one of these payments was for 75, not all four. Okay. Just to make sure that's on record. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. No, that, thank you, that's good that you corrected that. So that's all I have for the road department. Uh, Steve, you said there was four things? He gave me four. There's four sheets. You got another one back there? No. <laughs> he gave me four. There's one of them, there's another one. I got two checks and some cash. There should have been three checks there. Just now. One. All right, we'll get with John to make sure. Yeah, two. Three. Maybe maybe it was three, but he said it was four. So I put it in. He gave me a folder with it. So we'll check with him in the morning. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. I have a question on the road. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me. I'm sorry. Let me. I want to check that first. You 
get a mix up in that. This one? Uh, oh, that's the rest of That's what I was like, what is this? Yeah, it's like your stuff. This is your, oh, yeah. this is your, yeah. okay. I'll make sure that's. The headset. Yep, you're right. You're right. So last okay, talk. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have that. He one. said there was four, and he put it in his envelope. Okay. Um, you stated in your um, you mentioned something about working issue two credit with the county engineer and choice one to try retain it instead of losing it. Do you have any further? Well, there was two parts to that too, and I didn't okay. put the other part. Is they're trying to in their engineering, they're trying to save all the pavement that was done in that area. So, they they they, they haven't given us the okay, but the engineer study that will be done before they ever sublet the contract, if it goes forward, and obviously a lot of yes, but if it goes forward, they they believe they can save some of that uh, deep patch because it had to be deep patched anyway. So that's the study they're going to do before we right. put it up. Okay, that's fine. It says you're working on a 2021 road budget. Starting to do that now. Uh, so I, I didn't, what I didn't bring up to you guys is I did get, we usually have it by now, we usually supposed to approve it by October, but we got to November to approve the tax budget. Uh, since we had to November, I have it ready, I just didn't prepare for this meeting, or uh, prepare for the next meeting. So that's the next thing that we need to probably maybe have if the work session is not full, which I think no, I use it on the second, second October. If we can maybe have that as the next work session and talk about and understand the tax budget, because I think that's something you guys might probably want to understand. If not, let me know and I'll just present the tax budget resolution and we'll go from there. So. Um, that that gives Steve then an idea of what he has to work with, and that's why I asked that question. I'm sorry, go ahead, Steve. No, that's it. Just for all for the road, did you do the administrator? No, he has an answer. Okay, okay. Um, I have a question for the road department. Um, I'm just curious why in the middle of summer we're not using hot patch and why we're using cold patch. Cold patch. In my history in this is you use cold patch in the wintertime, but with asphalt plants being open, because we made comments before about using cold flat patch because the asphalt plants aren't open. Uh, is there a reason why we can't use hot patch when we're patching holes in the roads? We have been, but there was one day oh. that they used cold patch okay. because of timing. But okay, all we right. got the receipts that Tracy has gotten from the cold or the hot patch from the valley. Okay, thank you. Fine. Uh, you know what? I have another question. I'm sorry. Um, you going to, you said in the road report, Ohio State Extension, you're going to ask them to hold another weed class at Calumet Center? Well, the, the director of the Montgomery County Parks wants to hold a class. He needed us to ask us if we had anybody that would like to go through the class, and we said yes. So we both approached Montgomery County Park District and Jefferson Township Road Department has approached the extension about holding a class. So they don't have to drive to Springfield or over to Reynoldsburg. Okay, I just wanted to ask about this. So, so sort of a friendly phone call that said, "Do you guys have anybody to certify?" And we said yes, and they have people as well. So we're trying to. But it's not, not going to be free, right? I don't know about that at this point. Okay. Uh, we have some issues. I think when you did with that payment. Yeah, I remember. Correctly. What happened too is the class we did try to hold half the students weren't able to participate because the tornado hit, and their their communities wouldn't let them come to the class because they're taking care of the tornado. So we were, you know, we had a limited number of students. So that's what this brought that up to me. Yeah, that, before we even get to the cost thing, you all know what the cost is ahead of time, and you'll have to approve the appropriation first. Okay. Can I ask a question? Mr. Wolf? No, okay. Fire department.
what I gave to you the monthly report last month. Um, we've got several openings in the fire department right now. Um, a lot of people have quit because of rumors. And we had to talk to several new people. They're certified all except one. And we've got more applications out that people want on the department. Um, but we had some uneasy things going on. When I come on board and I told them that I wasn't going to put up nothing, I didn't. And people right now are getting along off that one. So we're trying to get the department up and running and moving forward. I met with the ambulance representative today. I've got one coming in tomorrow. Um, because we're, we got to get moving forward on this because of the grant that we was awarded, the federal grant. So as soon as 